does size affect the speed of a reaction? Let's find out using an experiment that you can try at home. We will be using effervescent vitamin C tablets and water. As the tablet dissolves, a reaction occurs between aqueous citric acid and sodium hydrogen carbonate to produce sodium citrate, water, and carbon dioxide gas. To investigate the effect of particle size on the rate of a reaction, we will be using two glasses of water and two vitamin C tablets. One is a whole tablet and the other has been crushed to a powder. What do you expect to see when the tablet or the powder is added to the water? What do you observe? In both glasses, we see effervescence and the colour of the solution changed from colourless to orange. We also observed that the rate of these reactions was different. In the glass to which the powder was added, the colour change happened more quickly and the effervescence also stopped more quickly. Why do you think this happened? For the key reaction to occur, citric acid must first dissolve in water to form hydrogen ions. So let's focus on the reaction between citric acid and water. To simplify things a little, let's imagine that the whole tablet is made up only of citric acid. Let's zoom in to see the arrangement of the particles in the tablet and in the powder. How many citric acid molecules are exposed to water in the tablet and the powder? For the same number of molecules, more citric acid molecules are exposed to water in the powder than in the tablet. Another way of describing this is that for the same mass, the powder has greater surface area than the tablet. This means that the likelihood of a successful collision between the citric acid molecules and water molecules is more likely when the tablet has been crushed to a powder. To put it together, the powder has a greater surface area than the tablet. Since the powder has more particles exposed to water than the tablet, the likelihood of a successful collision, such as the one between water molecules and citric acid molecules, is higher. Thus, the powder dissolves more quickly compared to the tablet to form aqueous citric acid, and the subsequent reaction between aqueous citric acid and sodium hydrogen carbonate occurs and is completed more quickly. Hence, we observe the colour change of the solution more quickly and the effervescence stops more quickly. In conclusion, a decrease in particle size or an increase in surface area results in an increase in the speed of a reaction.